Hey, y'all. I'm Heaven, and this is Queendom Connections Revamped. This is a Twin Flame Soulmate Karma channel only. So if you are looking for Zodiac signs, you will not find them on this channel. These are general messages. So please take what resonates, lead the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. If this is your first time watching me, hey, <laughs> um, thank you for coming over. I do curse, okay? Just let me, just want to inform the new people. I curse. I may curse a little bit. I may curse a lot. It just really depends. But I do want to inform you again. I curse. So if you don't want to hear me cursing, you might not want to watch me. And if you wear your feelings on your sleeve, again, you might not want to watch me because I'm not finna sugarcoat this shit. So we're going to start with the makeshift. And I'm going to pull a few messages, probably six messages. And we're going to work around that if that's okay with y'all. Spirit. Bless the collective with the messages that they need to hear. Not what they want to hear when it comes to this reading. Protect me as I channel the messages for the collective's highest good. Anybody sending any negative energy my way, I ask that that energy is returned to sender a thousand gold. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Let's see. When it comes to the person on the collective's mind, what do they need to know? I just got a new desk, y'all. New setup. So, hope you guys like. And I do. I got the LED lights on, on the desk. Baby, I love it. I want to have the light completely off. But, you know. If I do that, I'm not going to be able to see either. <laughs> so, but let's see. Let's see. I think I can dim the light. Definitely can't have it off. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Yep. So let's see. The person on the collective's mind, what do they need to know or be aware of at this time? Show me what I need to say. Maybe y'all see this a thick old dick. And now I didn't curse. So get your mind out the gun. So what's the message? What do the collective need to know when it comes to the person? On their mind. We'll be calling, texting, DMing you soon. Expect it. Okay. Yeah. Somebody from your past. Whoever on your mind, this person will be getting in touch with you. Now, if they ain't got no way to get in touch with you, that you've moved, you've changed your number, you've blocked them, I'm not talking to you. This is for people who still, you know, have them block their person. They person have them block them, you know. <laughs> Everybody don't have common sense, okay? They just don't. So let's see what else. What do the collective need to know or be aware of? Hmm. This person is manifesting you. Mm -hmm, they is. You know, hey, they can't manifest me. I don't want to be manifested. I cut the cord. Okay, well, I'm not talking to you. Dang, boo boo, stop thinking you the shit. Someone is pretending to be you. Fake social media profiles trying to make you look a certain way. Oh. Hmm. And I don't know, I don't think it's going to be this person that's on your mind, but it could be somebody connected to that person. It's pretending to be you. There's a social media profile, whether it's Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever, YouTube. It's somebody is pretending to be you because they want people to think, um, think of you in a negative light. Let's say that. So they could be over, you know, that they could be on this page like, Posting certain type of posts that body shame people, you know, being messy. Just a bunch of just low vibrational ass shit. And they doing it under your name or your picture to make people look at you a certain way. So when people see you or, you know, hear your name, they think a particular way about you. But it's not you. It's somebody pretending to be you. So what I would do if I were you. And if you have social media, even if you don't have social media, especially if you don't have it, you may need to get some social media, whatever it is, and you need to post. There's somebody pretending to be me on social, on whatever platform that is, and it's not me. <coughs> they being mean, they being negative, 
they talking about people, they being, you know, just, just be honest. That way people will know that it's not you. Then some people might be like, they lie, they just want to, they want people to think it's not them. But, you know, that's just somebody who probably toxic too. Back to your place, October London, child. So this could be somebody that is saying that they sleeping with you or that they came over your house and slept with you, child. They lying. I'm going to put it like that. Somebody lying on your name. <laughs> it's a karmic female. Karmic female wants to talk to you. And I feel like it's somebody connected to whoever this person on your mind is. They, pretend, they got a, a social media profile in your name or with your picture. It may not be your name. It's your, it could be your pictures. Um, they pretending to be like a promiscuous bimbo type of person. But they want to act like... You know, they, they for you. This could be a karmic female that's dealing with your ex or the person on your mind. Like, you could have been in a third-party situation. And this person is pretending like, you know, they on your side and, you know, they believe you. But really, they don't. They, they, they just using you to get more information to use against you. So, stop talking to these people. These other people that your person of interest is talking to are not your friends. They not your friends. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, what not what you need to hear. Okay, my daughter just texted me, y'all. She do the most. Okay, that's cute. Let me tell her. That's cute. She made her some boudin balls. <laughs> Look, she wants y'all to see. I'm a... Let me see what she said. going to go ahead and try them. See, I had to add a little parsley. How y'all do everything? Okay. Okay, you guys. Boudin balls are done. We're gonna go ahead and try them. Y'all see, I had to add a little parsley. How y'all do everything? Mm -hmm. Make it look a little pretty. <laughs> Here they go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> it look good. My bad, y'all. Okay, this is my grandbaby. Okay. She didn't put enough cheese. If I think he wanted to do like the little cheesy effect, but it's okay. They look good. Oh. My bad, y'all. Okay, whoever this karmic female is, they not really your person type of person, like the type of person that your person, your the person on your mind would usually go for. So I don't know how they ended up, you know, with this person or dealing with your person, but they not even the type of person that your person would usually go for. Okay, so don't talk to this person. If there's a karmic female or a third party trying to talk to you because of somebody else, just cut that out right now. Cut it out. You are you and a third party karmic energy is not your friend. Even if it's somebody in their family, they not for you. They not for you. Okay? So karmic fee, they'll listen to your ass. So stop trying to be people friends. Stop being friendly. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Falling down, London. That's why this female want to talk to y'all. For some of y'all, there's a karmic female who want to talk to you before this person talks to you. So they can try to change your mind about being with this person. And they also trying to change this person's mind about being with you. Because they have made this fake ass social media profile to pretend that they you. So it, to make you look like you out here being, a, being promiscuous or being a hoe. Being a thought. You know what I'm saying? Male or female. But don't worry. Because this shit is going to blow up in their motherfucking face. Or it already have. Or it already have. One more. What do the collective need to know? When it comes to the person on their mind. Look, mother figure sending you the evil eye child. So it probably is their mama who done made a fake social media profile because they don't like you. They sending you the evil eye, but they son or their daughter don't give no fucks because they love you. They want to be with you. Well, they trying to manifest you. They will be reaching out, but they mama, oh, they mama is like, oh, no, I'm going to try to stop that shit. Fuck that. But everything that this mother figure tries... It falls. It fails. 
especially if this mother is a Leo or if the person you dealing with or the person on your mind is a Leo or you are a Leo. Mm -hmm. This person is going to be exposed too. It's going to be exposed and your person is going to realize that it's time to, to, to leave the nest. Because I feel like this is somebody who is like a, 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 a daddy's girl, a mama's boy, something like that. But the distance between you and this person is killing them. They can't take being apart from you. They probably, this mother figure probably came in between you and this person relationship. And that's why you and them went y'all separate ways. It, it probably didn't have anything to do with you. That's why they want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, it is what it is. It says they are watching your glow and wishing you had failed. Y'all got somebody, mama, who just jealous of you. And it's because you don't have some type of glow up. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this mama. But, you know, hey, to each his own. Again, you could be a Taurus, a Libra, or a Pisces. Or this could be the sign of the person that you, the person on your mind. This person is asking mutual friends about you, and they are single. You know what I'm saying? They single. That's why they about to call you and, and get in touch with you and let you know that they single, that they want to be with you, because they are very depressed without you. And if they left a person or a situation, this person want to talk to you before they talk to you to try to throw a monkey wrench in their in plans. But again, don't don't be friendly. Don't be friendly out here in these, these karmic streets collective. Don't do that. <laughs> So, they they going through it. Whoever they are, they going through it. It, it. Like your person, the person on your mind, they going through it. And they want to tell you everything. For some of y'all, they found out that this mother figure was lying on you. Like they could have found out that this mother figure made this fake social media approach. Child, that's just crazy. But, you know, that is the world we living in. <laughs> that you got mamas. Uh, coming in between connections. Why? Because of jealousy. Nothing more than jealousy. Because if you a good person, regardless of what you look like or what your past was, you could have been the best person for their son or their daughter. But because you have a past, they, they held that against you. And now they, they son or their daughter is very fucking depressed. They don't try. They try to move on with somebody else. But that wasn't a type of person. But it was a mama type of person. Or they sister, somebody in their family that they 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 are, are kind of allowed to to run their life, uh, whoever it is, shit. But whatever is going on, when it, when it comes to the person on your mind, you finna hear from them because they manifest in this. Just know that there is somebody you know trying to. Make you look a particular type of way. So if somebody approach you or if somebody say something to you about something that was said uh, on some type of social media platform, do not take, don't take it. I mean, depending on how they approach you, first of all, it, now for some of y'all, they may approach you in the wrong way. Don't take it to heart, but don't be you no know, pushover either or don't let somebody just talk to you stupid. If somebody come to you and say, well, I heard you said whoop the whoop the whoop on you made a post or they may even have a screenshot and you just say, look, <laughs> you know me and you already know I would never do no shit like that. Somebody got a fake social media profile of me and they, they just saying a bunch of fucked up shit about my friends or my family. So, you know, if, if you go allow that, like I'm not going to say some shit about you and then say I didn't say it, you know me. So, again, you may have people come to, towards you saying Somebody told me you said or somebody read a post that you made and you know now spirit is saying don't let it rub you the wrong way because you know somebody's trying to destroy your life. You shining too hard. So somebody want to knock you down a few pigs. So if that means people that supposed to be your friend or your family, they fall for the bullshit. Those are people that you may just need to leave alone because they shouldn't know you. They should know you enough to know that you wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, go to social media with some shit. I'm just saying. So let me put my blunt out and then we can start clarifying why this mother figure is sending you this evil eye. Let's see. Why this mama sending you the evil eye like they sleeping with you or something, child? Wait a minute. Oh. Now I know I just got a new desk, so my setup is different, so I gotta find the cards. So let's see. Why is this? I'm going to use the, the evil eye deck. 
to see why this mother figure is sending you the evil eye. And then we're going to use tarot for the rest of it. So, Spirit, why is this mother figure sending the collector the evil eye? What's the real reason? Why is this mother figure, or whoever this person is in the person on your mind life, why is this person sending the collector the evil eye? And if it's not a mother figure, again, it's somebody in your person's life. Or the person on your mind life. What's the real reason why this... It's a mother figure, so I'm going to keep saying mother figure, okay? Queendom Connections. Revamped. Thank you. Y'all know I got to start saying my name in bo on both channels because somebody's stealing my content. So, yeah, I'm going to do that here. Periodically, you may hear me say Queendom Connections revamped. But anyway... Why is this mother figure sending? For some of y'all, it's because you outshine them. Whatever that may mean for you, you outshine them. But what's the real reason why this mother figure sending the evil eye? Look, it says call in Mike, uh, call in Archangel Michael for assistance and protection. So, and it came out in the reverse. And I usually don't read these in the reverse, but I'm being led to with this one. They don't like you because they they feel like you know. They not protected. They not blessed. They feel like you blessed, and they not. Like they, they may you may have went through something similar that they went through in their life at a younger age, but you came out of it. You came out on the other side, you know, shining. And you know, they it's it's like it's it's a, it's an envious type of spirit that they have, and they they don't they. Mm -mm. Look, I told you, they feel intimidated by you, child. You doing better than them. And you may, they may have a better job than you and everything, but it's like your energy, is out, it outshines them. They miserable. That's all it is. <clears throat> what else? I told you, you trigger their deep-rooted insecurities. Exactly. Again, when they were your age and they were going through whatever you just went through, they didn't come out of it glowing. They came out of it insecure. They came out of it feeling sorry for themselves. They came out of, of it mad at the motherfucking world because they felt like God wasn't listening to them. Mm, mm, mm. And you went through the same. You may have not known that somebody's mother went through something that you went through, but you, you triggered them because you could have told them how you got to where you are right now in life. Like, you could have met this mother figure and y'all were just shooting the shit, just talking, not trying to, you know, be rude or nothing. And you could have told this person, you know, I done been through A, B, C, and D, but God brought me through, whoop, 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 whoop. <clears throat> and they like, well, damn. Soon as you said God brought you through that, that was it. They were triggered because when they were going through that same situation, they called on God and God didn't answer them. That ain't your fault. That is not your fault. Look, I can't. Look at my spirit guides. They are holding on to an old grudge. This person is sending you the evil eye because they mad at God. They not mad at you. Mm, mm, mm. It's crazy. Look, and this is in the reverse too. You remind them of their shortcomings. It's in the reverse. That's why they sending you the evil eye. They don't want you to know that you triggered them because you remind them of their short, you know, that you've reminded them that, and this is just the way that they think, though. It's not your fault that they are insecure, but you make them feel that way because they went, you went through the same thing they went through, but yet you came out smiling. You, they probably wasn't there when you was crying. You probably told them that you was crying and that you wanted to give out, give up, but God, and, but it, I'm telling you, it was that but God, and that's that's. They start, instantly, they start hating you. They did. So, it was nothing that you did, collective, okay? To, to this parent of the person on your mind. It was nothing that you did. They mad at God. They grudges with God, not you. Look, using spell work to bring about misfortunes. Ooh. Look, make sure you, you, you got your obsidian, your tourmaline, your dragon's blood, whatever you use for protection, your evil eye, whatever. Because this mama... They so pressed that they doing spell work to, again, knock you down a few pegs. But it's only because they are intimidated by you. So make sure you're doing your return to sandals and all that shit. What else? Why is this mother figure sending an evil eye? 
I guess we experienced that shit. That's why. You reminded them of what they not. You remind them of what they not. <laughs> a fighter. <laughs> Look, hating on your come ups. Exactly. I don't know why I wanted to get another card. But this person is hating on you because you're a fighter. You done came up. You came out the ashes. You a phoenix. You you didn't allow the, 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 the fallen bridge or the burnt down bridge to stop you and keep you there. You overcame that shit. And that's why they hate you. That's why they don't like you. But again, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. They fight is not with you. They fight is with God. <laughs> but they project it on you. They wish they were granted the same opportunities coming your way. I'm telling you, this person got an issue with God, not you, collective. So, just pray for them <clears throat> if you want to. I'm not telling you you have to, you know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody who is trying to ruin your reputation. I ain't saying wish nothing bad on them, but, you know. You know, it's always nice to pray for people. Pray that they are, you know, healed <laughs> and that they do better. What's this? I want to be your man, Roger. Okay, so you know. We'll be calling, texting, DMing you soon. The person on your mind will be calling, texting, DMing you soon because they want to be your man or they want to be your woman. They manifest in you. Okay, I'm looking for tarot cards. Which deck do I want to use? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mystic Monday. I haven't used the Mystic Mondays in a while. <clears throat> Look, the hang man, the hang woman. So, Pisces energy. So, there's a Pisces that wants you back, baby. They look at that shit from a different perspective. This person want to be your man or your woman. They do. They let their mama come in between a connection that they... Oh, this thing's going to... They let their mama come in between this connection. And I just kind of feel like they regret it. But now they're looking at things from a different perspective. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tell you how I feel, but I get mixed up. Yeah, this person want to tell you how they truly feel, but they the words just don't come out right. My mind is blind at times, I can't see anyone but you. But they let their mama talk them out of you. <laughs> they mama start lying and shit. Again, probably talked somebody into making a fake page. To act like it was you so they could say, see, I told you they talking to other people, baby. This is ridiculous. Okay. So, we'll be calling, texting, DMing you soon. What does the person on the collective's mind calling, texting, or DMing the collective soon about? Or emailing you, you know, however they can get in touch with you. What are they getting in touch with the collective about? What are they getting in touch about? Child, about getting back together, baby. You better quit fucking playing with me. The lovers and the two of cups. Because they want to be with you. They finna let you know they want to be with you. And, you know, for some of y'all, I do feel like this person may have something to prove. Because if they allow their mama to break y'all up, they it, it's a lot that they're going to have to prove to you before you give them another chance. Or before you do give them another chance. But this is somebody who wants to let you know, look, I know I messed up, but I'm ready to make it up. Because they can't see themselves being with nobody but you. <laughs> Look, they, this is somebody that definitely could have put you in some type of third party situation. But they don't want to be with that person. They do not want to be with that person. They feel like that person came in between you and their connection. And the third person could be the mama. Look, the emperor. This is your masculine. Or this is the person that you're dealing with that's in masculine energy. Very prideful. Very controlling. My way or the highway. Set in their ways type of person. Well, this person has had some time to think about things. They done put two and two together and they realizing somebody was just coming in between the connection out of jealousy and they want you. They know they messed up and they know they're they going to have to do a lot to, to, to fix whatever this is, but they want you. They need you to know that they want you. Look, eight of cups. Walk, and, and if they got to walk away from this mama to prove to you that they're not going to let nobody come in between this connection again, whoever they are, they willing to do it. Walking away from anybody that is not, look, I can't make it up. Eight of cups in debt. Anybody that's not emotionally satisfying them. Shit. Anybody bringing, you know, drama and sadness and problems into their life. Oh, no. That, they got to go. They got to go. Because you don't, if you were dealing with somebody who prioritized, like, let's say, a mother figure or a family or a friend or baby mama, something like that. 
Oh, that's finna be dead. They finna dead all that shit. This person is manifesting you because they want to be with you. Not because they want something from you. They want to be with you. They love you. The lovers, I said, what would this person be DM, DMing, calling, texting, or emailing a collective about? The lovers and the two of cups. About us getting back together. Yeah. <clears throat> Regret. Look at this. <laughs> Five of cups. Regret. That's why they're trying to manifest you because they regret their actions in the past. They regret listening to this mother figure. They regret listening to these friends, whoever it was. They regret they shit. For some of y'all, it could have been, you know, work or whatever this person, you know, did for work that was more of a priority than you. And, you know, maybe because they were taking care of a mother figure. This this mother figure could have been draining them. And they always had to work and they never had time for you. It's going to be different for everybody. But they definitely manifesting you because they regret. I feel like they regret not fighting for this connection. Look, six of swords. They ain't came yet, but they on their way. If this person left, they, they coming back. They ain't third just yet. Or... They manifesting you, they manifesting you coming back to them. <laughs> it ain't happened yet. And I don't know if it will happen. For some of y'all it will, for some of y'all it won't. I'm just letting y'all know the energy surrounding you when it comes to the person on your mind. That's it. And I'm not saying you have to get back with this person. But when you least expect it with this tower, sudden changes. This person, the reason... They haven't came back yet or the reason they haven't been able to draw you back in is because they are going through a, a change in their life. They getting their shit together. But they manifesting your ass whether you know it or not. Look, Ace of Pentacles. Can I make it up? Yeah, they manifesting this brand new stable beginning. And it's just a matter of time before you hear from this person. You will. Now, just know somebody is trying to stop it. You do have somebody trying to stop it. It is what it is. If you wasn't where you supposed to be in life, the devil would not be fucking with you. So, you know, again, say your prayers, do your protection, you know, cleanse, whatever you got to do. But somebody pretending to be you because they want people to look at you a certain way. Look, princess of swords. I cannot make it up. And this is somebody who watch you. They watch your every move. If you have a social media, they watch you. They try to act like you. They read how you write shit. In a child, this person is crazy. Look, the magician. But see, they bending the truth. And see, they bending this sword. This person is bending the truth, baby. The universe going to get them. They going to get them. Someone is pretending to be you. Mm -hmm. Look, seven of cups. And I'm telling you, so many people are confused. It may not even be a, a profile that's in your name. But again, it may be using your pictures. But so many people are confused. Like, the collective would never post. No they must be going through something because they don't ever post like this. Like, they making people question your sanity. The hermit. Because some of y'all have withdrew from a lot of people. A lot of you stopped talking to a lot of people. So, you know, a lot of these people that you done stopped talking to or you went MIA with, old friends, whatever. They see this. They may have not said anything to you because nothing has been said about them in the post. But people, it's like they making, whoever pretending to be you, they making these people feel like you done had some type of mental breakdown or but it's because of them bending the truth like the posts that they could be making maybe posts like you confessing yo yo your deepest darkest secrets and you want to be opening up child it's it's sad it's sad mm, mm, mm. and again whoever this third party is that was interfering whether it's a mother figure platonic situation or romantic Spirit is saying, don't talk to this person because all they want to do is poison your mind. Shit. And as long as you hear it or see it, shit. <laughs> it, 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 it'll snatch you up. So three of wands, I'm telling you. And this is, this person has been waiting to talk to you, but, you know, I kind of feel like they no longer are waiting. They just finna just reach out. Somebody just gonna reach out to you. They may reach out to you on social media because you know on most social media sites you can either call or video chat somebody. So you may get a call or video request from somebody you don't even know. Chat. Do not. Do not. At, delete it or decline it and then block that person. <laughs> Shit, for real. Don't be friendly. See what I'm saying? Four of ones. For some of y'all, this is somebody that this person was in a relationship with. Child. 
the person that they left you for, if they left you for somebody, is the person that want to talk to you. Because they know this person is leaving them or has left them and coming to you. Or at least they want to come to you, so they want to sabotage this person. Yeah, they know this person want to come towards you and give to you. So they want to talk to you so they can sabotage this person. That's why Spirit is saying don't, don't fall for it. That's too many. That's why Spirit is saying don't fall for it. Don't talk to this person. Do not be friend this person. You can't believe shit they say. Even if they say shit or have said shit that is similar to something you went through with this person, do not fall for it because they plan you. <laughs> they plan you. What else? Karmic female wants to talk to you. Karmic female. I'm telling you to keep you stuck. So do not entertain this person. This person just want to keep you stuck. They do. And and if you be like, if they can talk to you and get you to, you know, I'm not going to say take their side, but be on their side a little bit. They have did whatever it is. I mean, like, that'll be enough for them to just keep you stuck to where you won't fuck with this person. Oh, that'll be okay with them. <laughs> that'll be okay with them. But Spirit said, no, don't. Ace of Swords, I'm telling you the truth. Do not. Do not allow this person to sabotage something that could be meant. I don't know if it is or not, but it could be. You definitely have a strong soulmate connection with whoever this person is. Y'all are either twins or high-level soulmates. The lovers and the two of cups and the emperor came out. Shit. So, again, don't be trying to talk to nobody. Current person. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk to their fam. I don't care if it's family or their female friend. Somebody they used to talk to, babe. I don't care who it is. Don't fuck with them. And niggas is bitches too. So, just because I'm saying karmic female don't mean I can't be talking about a guy. London Bridge is falling down. Whew, baby. But there is a tower taking place. So, look, I'm telling you, whoever this person is that's going through this tower, it don't feel good. The tower could have been you cutting their ass off. I feel like it is. The tower was you cutting off this past person, like, for good, indefinitely. That's why they're trying to manifest you. That's why they got to talk to you. They need to talk to you. You, look, I cannot make it up. Knight of Pentacles. Yep. And for some of y'all, this has been a long time coming. It was a long time coming, but you finally cut their ass off. Because they were like, I kind of feel like this is somebody who was love bombing you. We going to be together. Yeah, but let me, let's do this or let's do that. We ain't got to rush, but they were, they were love bombing you. Gaslight you. And you end up cutting their ass off. And that was a tower. That was a tower moment for this person. London Bridge is or has fallen down. The, the, <laughs> the hang woman. I told you. But now they realize and look and see things from your perspective. They know why you cut them off. They know why you stop talking to them. They also know why things are not working out for them currently. It's because of how they did you. They they realize that now with the hang woman. They realize it's it's because of how they treated you. Look, five of swords. They're not mind games. Manipulate. They they definitely feeling defeated. They played themselves trying to play you. Person had a big old ass ego. <laughs> But pride comes before destruction, and they had the gift to gab with the Knight of Cups. But they don't learn their lesson. Yeah, they learned their lesson, and this person's like, look, they, I'm, I'm done being a player. I'm done being somebody who want to love bomb, gaslight, manipulate, play with your head, whatever the case, whatever you want to call it. No, I'm done. It's over. This person is going through a transformation. They really are. That's why Spirit is telling you not to talk to this person. Because they trying to throw a monkey wrench in it to keep you stuck in your head. They, they want to fuck. They want to play on your top. So fuck them. You got good news coming in. And shit. So that's all you need to be worried about. Focus on this good news coming your way. If it pertains to the person on your mind. If it's coming from the person on your mind. If you are looking to get back with somebody from your past. Not if you don't want to be with somebody. If you don't want to be with somebody from your past. This is not for you because I'm asking the universe when it comes to the person on your mind. Okay? So that's not, this reading is not for you. And, and that's okay. You don't have to be mad about that. It's it's okay. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But let's get some um, confession messages. Because y'all will be hearing from this person. You may not think you are, but you are. Damn. Oh, I'm like, where am I going? All over the place. Mystic Mondays. So, let's get some confession messages. Now, this is where it gets... 
because <sighs> I gotta remember where my confession. I think they right here. Look how spirit be working, baby. Okay, y'all. I'm. I like the ambiance, but I need to see. So we finna open up this blind a little bit. Yeah, how about that? And <laughs> let me turn these lights off. That's enough. My daughter, it was her ideals, and I'm going to blame it on her. I am. She was like, Mama, you ought to do a reading with the lights. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, but no, I need to be able to see. Look, I'm releasing the third party. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. I told you that's why this third party want to talk to you. They trying to throw a monkey wrench in it. There goes my baby, Charlie Wilson. Mm, yeah. This person loves everything about you. You hear me? Look, my feelings aren't... Baby, I'm t 